What's up YouTube? Got another MRG series watch to review. This one is absolutely stunning, very limited edition, and it's so cool with the background history of how they designed this watch. In typical Dushaco fashion, we're gonna go talk about the design of this watch, the features, some of the background as to how they designed it, and why I think it's such a great watch. Let's get started, let's go. Let's do a quick unboxing. There's your model number and your SKU, MRG G1000B-184. Okay, let's open this puppy up and see what we're working with. Here we go. Nice white display case or box, as you say. Here's a nice little pamphlet, the MRG pamphlet. gorgeous piano black display case with the brush metal mrg logo on top then on the side here you have your manuals warranty cards and whatnot but let's get to the watch all right here's the uh watch itself the case open it up oh look at that Gorgeous display, luxury. Now this is the top of the line, G-Shock line. This is the MRG, guys. This one particular retails for $3,000 USD. And I'll show you why that is the case. Now this is new. Most MRGs in the past I've noticed have come with a pillow. Now this is the first time I've noticed that they come in this um, plastic kind of um, holder and it's pretty cool all right here is the tag for this puppy mrgg 1000 b-184 again this one retails for three thousand dollars and was released in 2017 as a limited production okay let me remove some of these stickers and we'll get right back to you and here we have it, the MRG G1000B-184. Now there's so much to talk about this watch and I could just easily say it's a black and gold watch from G-Shock, the MRG, top of the line, here it is. But there's so much that you need to know about this watch and let's get started with that. Now this watch is titanium, both the bands and the case, which make it um, lightweight. It comes in at 153 grams, which is pretty lightweight compared to other G-Shock watches. Now the case itself is kind of large. It's 54.7 by 49.8 by 16.9. Um, now that is kind of large in comparison, I would say, but here's a wrist shot of mine next to the 5000, GW 5000. You see there? Okay, that's a wrist shot. I have about a six and a half inch wrist, which is pretty small um, so you can see that it's not that big of a watch all right now this watch has GPS and atomic multiband six timekeeping signal so it's a hybrid watch that gives you both GPS and multiband six atomic signal all right the glass is sapphire now this is only used in the high-end G-Shock Casio watches this being one of those it is sapphire glass all right and it also has the anti-reflective coating on there to help you to make it easier to watch or see the watch or the dial uh, under certain conditions like solar or under the sun. It makes it easy to read the time um, because of the anti-reflective coating. All right, this watch is 200 meter water resistance. It has 40 time zones and is DLC coating to prevent it from scratching, all right? Now the, the, the stainless steel, or I should say the um, titanium of the watch itself, the band and the bezel are not only titanium, but they're also deep layer um, hardening, what the process they call deep layer hardening, which makes the metal five times stronger than the actual titanium, which I think is pretty cool. All right, then the watch itself does have a crown, a lock-in crown, which is a nice little feature, okay. 
Um, and the another cool thing about this watch is that the hands itself, they use carbon fiber hand right here for the second hand to make it lightweight. And also they say it's to keep it from, um, it keeps it being accurate all the time. All right, so before we get into some of the close-up macro views to show you some of the fine details of this watch, let's talk about what inspired Casio to produce this watch and this colorway. Notice right away, you have the black, beautiful colorway with the nice crimson red accents and the gold touch. Absolutely stunning. Now, why they do this, you ask? Because this is the Akazone, they call it, crimson colorway, all right? Now, a lot of um, G-Shocks have a purpose and a style in, in mind. This one resembles a Japanese samurai um, warrior. The black, red, and gold accents are supposed to resemble the armor that was worn by a samurai of the Takeda clan. His name was the General Sanida Yukimura. He was nicknamed the number one warrior in Japan. Now I'll show you guys an image of him. You'll see him wearing his black attire or samurai uh, suit, black attire with red crimson accents and beautiful gold accents on his head. Stunning. This itself is supposed to represent the, the endurance, the durability, and the strength of that samurai. Absolutely cool. Now let's get started. Let me show you some of the beautiful details um, about this watch that it's hard to capture unless you see it in person. Let's go. Thank you. 
And there you guys have it, the Sonata Yukimura Casio MRG1000 watch. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous watch with the tri-fold band. It's just absolutely stunning. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'm pleased to ask you guys, if you enjoyed this video at all, the quality and the time and the research that went behind it, please hit the like button it takes you two seconds to do so and it helps me tremendously also please subscribe if you haven't already done so it helps me out it motivates me and it also helps uh, me with the algorithm the youtube algorithm to get more people to come to my channel and check out some of these gorgeous watches i do mostly all g-shark cashew watches both old and new reviews i do um tough tests i do a lot of things please follow along and join me on my next review very soon Thanks so much. Till next time, this is Chicago. Holla at you boys, guys. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm